All right, guys. So, this is the Scion. I'm running a Kenwood EZ500 deck. Um, it's not the best deck. It's uh, something that I had lying around. And I decided to put it in here because the one that came with it was a dual. It was uh, of great quality if you've ever used any dual head units. Um, it basically wouldn't play the right speakers. Uh, the left speakers worked, but they popped all the time. Um, the wiring was kind of shoddy from the person that had it before me, but that's neither here nor there. Um, from that, I'm basically running uh, right down here. You can see I've got my auxiliary cable ran to the back of the head unit. Um, it's the best I could do with this head unit. That way I can play songs on my iPhone, things like that. Um, not exactly ideal, but it works for me. Um, running the stock speaker wire for all of my component speakers. Um, of course, in the Scion XB, we've got the, the two upper tweeters. Uh, don't know what size they are. Never really looked at them. Um, in each door, in the front, we have the two, I believe they're six and a quarters. And then all the way in the back, way back here. I don't know if you can see it. Those, I believe, are five and a quarter or five and a halves. Um, basically running all stock components because I haven't had the money to go get any new ones yet. Um, and back there's kind of a sneak peek. That's the uh, the three cubic box, three cubic foot box that I built for the Kicker L7. So now I'm going to take you back there and show you what that's all about. Here we go. Kicker L7, three cubic foot box, tuned at 32 hertz, very small port. Just a better shot of the uh, factory speaker location for the rear speakers. Basically, you cannot hear them when they're when the stereo is on. They are way too far back. I guess it's for rear passengers. Um, running the directed 1100 d amp, um, tuned way, way, way down right now. Um, only running four gauge power and ground. Um, and for now, I got 12 gauge speaker wire running to the subwoofer. So, not the uh, the biggest wire, not the biggest amp, not the biggest subwoofer, but. It works, you know. It's it's what I had. So and I think in total, um, I had the head unit laying around. The amp was given to me. I uh, bought the wire and I uh, bought the subwoofer, and I spent about 65 bucks total on everything. Uh, just kind of a shot from the back, so you can see what the stereo looks like sitting up there. Eventually, I'm going to go with a uh, a full seven and a half inch touchscreen or whatever it is, something along those lines. And for anyone that hasn't seen it, this is the uh, 05 XB. I've got drop zone coil springs on it, um, drag DR16s, and a 15 by 7 with a plus 40 or a negative 40 offset um, Ventus V2 Concept 205 5015s. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of spacing on it. They seem a little bit sunk into me, so we're going to pump those out a little bit and see if we can't make it look right. Um, not a whole lot of mods done to it other than stereo, cold air, um, wheels and springs, I guess. Uh, I painted my tail lights, but I don't, I don't really count that. So there it is for anyone who's been uh, wanting to see what it looks like.